Hey guys, here's a little video showing you how to use LibreOffice Calc to find the final temperature of T sub F for all four trials of your thermochemistry experiment. First, you're going to have time in the left column, temperature in the right, because in all spreadsheets, the left column is going to be the x-axis, y will be the second by default. So I've, I've just made up some numbers, so these are some temperature numbers that I made up. Now the time, I put the first time, t equals 15. Remember, you don't have any data at t equals zero, so you don't you have to graph that. So t equals 15 is my first data point. Then what I'm, I'm going to do, instead of just typing all the numbers in, I'm gonna click on the next box down. I'm gonna click uh, enter equals, then A2, A2 is the address of the 15, and then plus 15, hit enter. Now that's 30, then I left click on that box, on the 30, hit control C, then left click on the next box down, A4, holding the shift key, click on the last box, A33, click, uh, press control V, and there we go. All right, so now I've got our data. And now, if we plot this real quickly, uh, to do that, I'm gonna left click on the first time, 15, holding down the shift key, left click on the last temperature, 29.9, hit insert, chart, XY scatter, then next, 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 and finish. We're not gonna save this. We just need to see something here. You see how the numbers, uh, temperatures go up and then start going down? We want this, the portion of this graph from the highest point here through the rest of it. So it looks like this temperature is 35.2. It's right here. So okay, now that we got that, that's all we need from this. Click outside of the graph, then click on it, inside it, backspace is gone. So now we want to graph these points here. See that's the highest temperature. So I'm going to left click on this time 45. Holding down the shift key, left click on the last temperature 29.9. Again hit insert, chart, xy scatter, next, next, next. Um, we don't need to pretty this up because you're not going to turn the graph in with your lab report. All you need is the equation of the line. So I'm going to click finish and then I'm going to right click on one of the data points, click insert trend line, make sure linear is selected, it should be by default, click on show equation, click OK. And there you have it. This is what you need. That's your equation of your best straight line for the points after the highest temperature. And this is what you're going to include in your lab report, this equation right here. And the piece of information that you're going to get from that is your final temperature, which is the same as the y-intercept, because that's where this line crosses the, the y-axis, right, which is t equals zero. So that'd be your highest temperature, your final temperature. So for me, we're going to go one past the decimal, because that's what your temperatures were, one past the decimal. So I would report my final temperature for this trial as 35.2 degrees Celsius. So again, do not include the graph in your lab report. Do include, include the equation, though.